Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Star Ocean to the End of Time, brought to you by your host, Shady Knights. Alright folks, where we left off, we crash landed on a... What is this? I forget the name of this planet. Well, we crash landed on the planet while on our way to Remote Station 7. And, well, as I said before we left off last time, this is where the uh, story kind of legit starts. You, you know, at first it was just, you know, a kid on vacation. And then all of a sudden, you know, stuff gets real. Like this thing, what is this? Maybe this is what was moving for you clicks. Again, how fast is the click? Does anyone know? I do not. Oh. Real fight. Yes, a real fight. And it's kind of difficult to hit this slime, giving me a very poor, poor first performance. Yeah! Win alone. Yes, save it. Give me card slot one. Delicious. Now, that's pretty much how the battles work in this game. There's no real, well, there are no real random battles. Most of them you can avoid. In fact, almost everyone except for the boss fights, you can completely skip. Giving you some interesting trophies like, oh, defeat such and such boss with fate on level one. And I haven't done any of those. I doubt I'm going to do any of those. I don't think you guys really want to sit here watch me play this game, find out the first duty, wait for another delay for me to figure out how to beat these bosses of level 1, 2, wait for me to try this stuff out to make sure it works, 3, wait for the very long videos that it must take in order for me to beat these bosses of level 1. It's just a big hassle, you know, a big hassle. So if you're wondering what I'm doing right now, if you look at the lower right hand of the screen, you'll see a percentage filling up as I fill up this map. Wait a second. Real fight. These guys, what are they called? I can't remember what they're called. Oh, under 10 seconds. Someone time that, how fast was it? Oh, crap. Anyway, um, yeah, those guys, you can actually get a lot of money from them. We'll sh I'll show that off a little later. But as you can see, the lower right hand corner of the screen, there's a percentage. This is our map percentage, because as you see, we do not have the entire map filled out. So, you have to fill it out yourself. You don't know what's where, where anything is, until you actually go and it fills out. I like this. Now, a little bit of an issue with it is, you know, if you want to see, make sure you got everything, it can lead to a lot of backtracking. But if you know where you're going and what you're going to do, it's actually not, not that bad. But I think we'll be skipping these battles. You don't really need the levels. You don't need the levels <laughs> this early in the game. So. Ah, there we go. You don't need the. Yeah. You don't need these levels really early on in the game. They do help later as the bosses do not level with you. But, you know. Also, the map is not just on this one area, see, it's the entire field, the, the entire Paseto Forest is the, uh, that's the map that you're trying to fill out, and you get a little something for it once you fill it out, and we'll be showing that off in just a little bit, but right now, Fate finds himself in a bit of a pickle, oh yes, and when filling the map out, it's best to make sure you hug the hell out of the edges of the screen. Now, that can be a problem because you don't know what's on the edge of the screen just yet. So, you know, live, learn, they get loved. But, is that the music? It sounds like somebody's coming down there, but it must be the music on my headphones. <laughs> um, anyway, you, um, what was I saying? We were, I forgot what I was saying. I filled out the map. Skipping boss fights, you don't need them that early. And something else I was saying. Oh well, I'm sure it'll come to me eventually. But right now, Fate just finds himself stranded. 
Now, why the ship did not go into remote station six as ordered? I'm a little confused on that, and I don't think it ever really gets explained. Because if I'm not mistaken, that was the uh, original meeting point. It didn't. Now the ship never said that we we had to go to uh, uh, this planet. It never said we had to come here. However, it did say that uh, there was a problem with. Uh, no, it did say that the planet that uh, we were going to this planet. It didn't say why. It didn't say that there was anything wrong with the ship. Our reserves wouldn't last us until we got to remote station six. None of that. It just said this is where you're going. Not even when the Vendine appeared just before we warp jumped. But uh, let's see what these let's see if these fellows can give us some help. Maybe that's the humans we saw earlier. Hey, wait right there. That's a this is a dead end. I won't tell anyone if you turn around and get out of here right now. I'd like to go past. Can you let me through, please? What kind of a fool are you? What, you expect me to nod my head and say, Yes, sir, and just let you through? We're guarding this road to make sure nobody gets through. So no, you can't go past this. If you insist, then I don't mind teaching you a painful lesson. Just say the word. Grr. They're inhabitants of an underdeveloped planet, with no martial arts training at all. I think I can probably take them, but there's too many to pull the punches. Pull any punches. All right, I'll follow your advice. Yeah, see? We understand each other. All right, scram. I don't want to see you back here again, ever. Really? Hey, didn't I just tell you to tell you this is the, the dead end? Get out of here, fool. Unsavory character. Yeah, just, wait, what do you say? Sorry. Hey, didn't I just tell you this is a dead end? If you ain't going, if you ain't got somewhere to go, go east to Whippy. Whip him. Whip him? How do you pronounce that? Someone tell me how to pronounce that. I think it, I am, like I, like you all know, I'm a little dyslexic, so I kept seeing Whippy, even though I know that's not what's there. So, yeah, sure, go ahead. I'm curious. So, we abandon a space pod for trees. I like trees, don't get me wrong, I really do. And plants and stuff like that, but, you know, safety and all that. Also, I still would have gotten a better sword. Just saying. I mean, maybe not a royal sword, but definitely one of higher quality. <sighs> Made it. Finally. <laughs> yeah, fate. You really need to exercise more, which is weird. Uh, that was farther than I thought. It looked so close. On the scanner. You must have Google Maps. Oh dear. Seriously. Hey. Okay, he passed out because he was tired. I've been tired before, but never so tired where I walked so much to where I passed out. Oh, aren't you the sweetest little thing, girl with bobbed hair? This is why you stretch before walking or doing strenuous exercise, kids. Guys! Why? She looks happy. Kinda. I don't know. Oh. Ha! These guys are good shots. Game over. Play theme song, end of their games. They didn't say it. God, that is the. Ugh. Sometimes American voice actors just don't get the proper scream. Uh. 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 What? 
it was just a dream. Maybe the voice actors from Dragon Ball Z should teach these people how to scream right. But then again, they yell, it's not scream. Oh well. Where am I? I don't know, in the house? Come on, Fate, stop asking questions. Be a little bit more specific. Isn't that a little racist, a backwater planet? I mean, you're ad more advanced than them. Yeah, that doesn't make you a civilized planet. Racist bastard. Oh, Just precious. Groaning in your sleep. Yeah, he was having one of those weird dreams again. I think I'm fine, thanks. Were you the one who rescued me? I don't know why, but the game's music sometimes overrides the voices. I don't know. Sorry, can't help that. No, I just carried you here. My sister, Mina, she insisted. Yeah, I was just gonna leave you out in the street to die. I see. So you were the one who rescued me. Thank you. No. Nicholas carried you, so technically he rescued you. Mina just made him rescue you. Oh. I guess I should introduce myself. My name's Fate. Fate Line God. How about you? What a weird name. I am Nicholas. Her name is Mina. No surnames. Fate. You said fate, right? White. Your clothes and your ears. Are you one of Norton's men? Who? Norton? Is that a person's name? Yes. I don't really understand the situation here. Wow, Bed's acting weird. No, I don't know Jack Schmidt. Uh, no, actually, I've never heard of him. Who is he? If you do not know who he is, then please, never mind. I apologize for the odd question. Why don't you just explain who he is? And tell me what's wrong with this bed sheet. You still need to recover your strength. Feel free to rest here a while. Will do. We cannot do much, but we do have food. That's more than enough for fate. I'm fine. Yeah, really. Yeah, he's just horribly out of shape. Look at him. No! Stay. You should stay in bed! Please, rest. Don't worry. It is our way to help each other in times of trouble. Oh, that's nice. Sorry. Thanks. It is no problem. Mina, let him get his rest. Yeah. Okay. For he now. So young, <laughs> but he seems so mature for his age. Just like unlike Sophia. you. Un again, unlike you. Well, I'm actually from a distant. Oh, it's. I love kids. They're so awesome. <laughs> I don't know if this means he told. Nah, he didn't tell her anything. Probably just told her she was a cousin or something like that. Doo doo doo. It's already afternoon. Yeah, you slip all day. Or at night. Yep, he finally learned to stretch before moving. Uh, ouch. Well, it hurts a little, but I can move. Dude, we only had like three fights. Just stop being a baby. I better figure out more about this place. I'm telling you how long I'll be stuck here. This is true. Wait, where's my sword? 
good question. Nicholas must have. He must have made him nervous. Or it's not like I need it right now anyway. I'll let him hang on to it. Ugh. I don't know. Something just don't feel right. So, we are now in the, uh, town of Whippy. Whippy. Faye, you must take it easy. You must take it easy while you're regaining your strength. Mina. Music in this area, in this, uh, place is, uh, it's somewhat whimsical, yet not off-putting. I like it. How are you feeling? I imagine you are not you're not quite you're not all better quite yet. Nicholas. So let's see what this town has to offer. By speaking That's right to everyone. You're getting it. There won't be anything left to plunder if no one if no one's left to work the fields. You'd think even thugs like them would realize that. Wise old man. Let's see what's in here. That son of mine. He does such foolish things. I wonder where I went wrong raising him. <laughs> Who are you? Ah, you're that young man Nicholas and Mina found collapsed in the forest. Well, what is it? Something, something you want from me? What? You got business with me? You got some business with me? Obstinate man. What strange clothes you're wearing. Now that I think of it, that other man was dressed strangely too. Gentle young woman. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Let's continue. Ah, save one. Let's just save, really. Whoa, no. I gotta, ah, I gotta stop the habit of mine. Say successful. Ah, uh, what's the hint? Recently, a single stranger settled in the west, settled to the west of our village. Our lord refuses to send soldiers to such a remote village as ours. Perhaps the stranger knows this. We have constantly been at his mercy. That is why the people here are so wary of strangers. I am sorry they are treating you so briskly, but you must understand our situation. Even some of our young folk have gone with all gone off with that stranger. Honestly, what fools they are. Village Chief. Blackberries obtained. No exclamation point, so I can't say it with much enthusiasm. But still, I mean, I got something from a chest. You can't be too upset about it, right? Are you with are you that stranger Nicholas found? What a fool that Nicholas is. After all he went just went through, he had to go and get mixed up with you. Whenever strangers come, there's not but trouble. It was the same way last time, too. Brooding man. Uh I'm not the stranger you're looking for? What the hell, dude? This is Whippo. And you are a stranger. Strangers aren't welcome here in our village. Take my advice. You'd best leave here at once. Look, let me give you some advice. You'd best leave here at once. Defying young men. I'm telling you for your own good, you know. Yeah, well, I think I know a bit more of what's on my what's for my good than you know. You know? Welcome! Is there something you were looking for? Bye, Blackberries, Ringmail, Clone. Do we need Ringmail? Uh, I need to. 
sorry. I need to stop. Uh, I need to remember to leave my blasted thing off. Let's see. Ring mail. I am piss broke. Wow. Well, ring mail would be useful, but we don't have anything. Mother carrying her baby. Hold on, where's... Wait a second. There's the baby right there. Wow, that baby is passed out. Alright, uh, if you haven't guessed by now, uh, <clears throat> green triangles mean store. Blue triangles mean doctor. Just a little thing that they do to so you can kind of you know, move immediately to where you need to go. I like that tactic. If you're well enough to walk, you, won't you hurry up and uh, If you're well enough to walk, won't you hurry up and leave our village? Strangers bring us nothing but trouble. Huh, that's the second person to say that. Well, let's read her book. These are pretty difficult medical texts in their own right. Still, the level of development is, development is so low. I don't suppose they understand a single thing. I don't suppose they understand a single thing written here. Well, that's why, why wouldn't she understand what's written there? She may have studied since she was a child. That's very jackasses of a fate, right there. How do you know what they know? Answer: You don't. You can never know what someone knows until you know them. And even then, you can't always know everything they know. Who are you? Mama said never let strangers into our house. So you better leave right now. Hey you, get out of our house. You'll be in big trouble if my mama sees you. Lisping girl. Ah, kids in this game. Ah. Well, and if you haven't noticed, noticed the girl actually follows you. Well, she goes where you were, if I'm not mistaken. Don't she? Yep. She follows you. One second. See? If nothing's in her way, she will follow, it. follow you. And, well, she'll follow you up to a point. Once you get around here, she'll leave, she'll stay still because you're leaving. But I think that's a nice little touch they gave her. Okay, so... The Tale of the Star Ocean Chapter 1, Quickening Asmodeus, the, Asmodeus, one of the Demon Kings, spent his days in humiliation after the, after the flesh that housed his spirit was shattered by a cat. The spirit of demons persists even after their flesh is gone. However, they suffer the, reek, the racking pangs, pangs, pangs of death and humiliation of helplessness while their flesh regenerates. Being a demon king meant the regeneration of his flesh required an unimaginably long time compared to normal demon time. And that seemingly endless time was more than enough to incite thoughts of destroying all living things in vengeance. O Asmodeus, Asmodeus, O Lord of the Underworld, I command thee to make a pact with me. Lend me thy strength to make the Milky, Milky Way my own. O Lord of the Underworld, could not... Oh, wait. Sorry. The Lord of the Underworld could not believe his ears, for he dwelt amid the deepest layers of the Underworld. It should have been utterly impossible for even the most powerful summoning spells to reach the depths of his abyss. What is this? A summoning spell? Could, there, could it be there is one capable of calling for me, the Lord of the Underworld? How dare thee! Reveal thyself! I am the one who was cast from the Ark of Redemption. I am the an existence more ancient than the stars. Now come kneel before me, O Lord of the Underworld. So it was Asmodeus who was forcefully drawn into the world of mortals by a powerful summoning spell. Who is this sorcerer powerful enough to summon a demon king? And what is his purpose? Next, humiliation, the final chapter of the state of the tale of Star Ocean. That's neat. Ah! Okay, come on, come on. Problem with that stuff is if there may, if there is something extra, which I'm not sure there is or isn't, 
you gotta do a lot of clicking to get over it. And sometimes you may click too much and get caloric and get caloricibora syndrome. Amer arithmetic. Arithmetic. One through two. Let's learn grammar. Good evening, working dad. I wonder if they're still teaching their kids this stuff. If they're teaching this kids. This stuff. Oh boy. Like I said, Clapora Giabora syndrome. Farming made easy. All about the weather. Ten ways to get people to like you. Boy, it must be tough being a village chief. I would assume so. It's tough holding any real uh, position of leadership. Let's see. This isn't a game. Leaving the village without a weapon would be suicide. Yeah, if only you had an easily concealable pistol. I don't know, strapped to you somewhere where no one could see. Unless they were really looking. But why would you do that? That would be a violation of the UP3 if they never interacted with it at all. Oh, fate, 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 fate. You're such an idiot at times. Anyway, let's go back and see what Mina and Nikolaius are up to. Huh, she's looking What's at the box. That? It's my treasure box. Daddy gave it to me on my birthday. Oh, that's nice. That music box was passed down through our mother's family. It is the only thing we have left from our parents. What? But alas, it is broken now and it does not make a sound. Ah. I see. Can I have a look? What are you gonna do, Fate? The gearbox is broken. But I bet I can fix this. How? Oh. I can get back to my pod. I should be able to synthesize parts. Oh. I don't think the UP3 group is preparing existing devices. I don't know. They seem pretty adamant about don't interact with them at all, period, for whatever reason, unless you're going to die, which you weren't going to in that safety of the pie. Yeah, this shouldn't be too hard. Want me to fix this for you? It'll be my way of paying you back for rescuing me. Ooh. Really? Can you fix it, Faith? Uh, he can get it fixed. Can you really do that? It is an expensive music box. They told us it would cost a great deal to fix it. Ha! <laughs> well, I'm from the future. True. With this planet's level of civilization, Okay, Faye, you don't have to muse over this. You're gonna fix it or not? Okay. But we cannot ask you to do something like that for us. Yeah, he'll be fine. You saved my life. It's the least I can do to repay you. All right, so let's recap, folks. Well, hold on. Still. Just wait a second. Oh, now you're just being dirty there. 